One of my favorite things about IKEA furniture is that it's extremely customizable. You get unfinished pine furniture, which is really easy to paint, and I have a guide to painting that, and I will add a link to that. But you also get laminate furniture, which also you can paint and customize however you wish. So today we're going to talk about painting laminate IKEA furniture. I'm going to be using this bookshelf for my kids' schoolwork, so I want to do two things. One, of course, paint it, make it nice and bright, and two, I want to add some sort of organizational elements to it. So the first step really is to give this a light sanding and clean it up. I am using a fine grit sanding sponge to rough up the surface of the bookshelf. You don't need to sand it a lot just enough to sort of make the surface not glossy and just a little rough so the primer and paint have something to hold on to. Then I went ahead and wiped it all down to remove all the dust. I like using a tack cloth for this because it's basically a sticky cloth and it picks up all the tiny dust particles really nicely. Now for the primer. This primer is the secret to painting laminate furniture. It is shellac based and it is not water soluble so you have to be careful with it. Make sure to wear gloves and use disposable brushes or rollers. I went ahead and coated the entire bookshelf with the shellac based primer. This primer does smell so be sure to do it in a well ventilated space. So the bin primer is all dried up, it does look splotchy, it does need a second coat of uh, primer. There are two options, you could do another coat of the bin primer itself or you could do a coat of a regular oil or water-based primer. There are two reasons I am not using the bin primer for a second coat. One is that the bin primer is more expensive, so I'm just trying to use less of it. And two is that with a water-based primer, I can easily use this in my paint sprayer, even though I am not doing that right now for this project. But if it was a bigger project, I could easily use a water-based paint in a paint sprayer. It's just easier cleanup, much faster to spray paint. I went ahead and applied another coat of the primer to completely coat the shelf. Now for the organizers. I measured the cubes and determined the size of the plywood shelves I needed. So the cubes are 13 and a quarter by 13 and a quarter inches square. So we're going to do three dividers. So we're going to subtract the thickness of the dividers from the dimension and uh, that brings us to 12 and a half inches and then I divide that into four parts so that is three and an eighth inch so we're just going to go with a thickness of three inches for each of the slots in the middle so that is for the vertical for the horizontal I, I right now I'm making three sections but I do want to have the option to be able to increase them as we feel the need to so I'm going to make slots for five but I'm going to only have three dividers right now so for that doing the calculation it comes to about two inches for each of the dividers so I am going to do about one and seven eighths of an inch to give it a little bit of wiggle room. I cut down quarter inch plywood to size. I am using a table saw but a circular saw will work as well. I cut down three quarter inch plywood to make the dividers. dividers I basically used super glue and clamps to attach them to the sides. And then I used the shelves themselves to figure out the spacing and attach the next set of dividers. I repeated this for the horizontal dividers and the vertical dividers. 
The dividers for the vertical shelves were a little bit tricky, but nothing a few clamps cannot solve. Now for the paint. I painted the entire bookshelf with my favorite white paint. And then to add some fun to it, I added more color, yellow, pink, and teal. For the paint, I am using regular semi-gloss latex paint with no top coat. I have used this process a lot of times in the past and once it's completely cured, which takes about three to five days, the finish is pretty solid. If you want a less glossy finish, you can use satin or matte latex paint, but you will have to follow that with a satin or matte top coat. I will add a link to one of my favorite high performance top coats in the description below. On the sides, I really wanted some fun character. So I cut up a paper in a wave shape and used that to draw the pattern and then I added some paint. I added the shelves back in and we are done. Now we have a fun, colorful way to organize all the kids' books and school supplies. It was an easy project to take a simple, boring IKEA bookshelf and elevate it to make it fun and colorful and most importantly, useful. I hope you enjoyed this project. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.